Hey, good morning guys and happy Sunday to everyone. Uh, it's Danny coming back at you with another video. I have a couple of these like blaster type boxes that came out of the Major League Baseball, what, f you know, collectors, 50 pack collectors thing from Walmart.com. I uh, got a couple of those. Uh, one of those sets came with two of these, another one came with a single one. And then a couple of five-pack uh, deals. So it looks like there's ten packs in each of these. And uh, what I liked about these, and the reason why I picked these two, is it looked like each of these packs, or each of these boxes, has some, some different stuff. So it looks like we got a 2007 Tops on here. Not exactly sure what year that is uh, on this. It looks like 2016. And also a 93 Donners, which is pretty neat. I, I don't know that I've got many of that in my collection. So I wanted to kind of... Bust these open this morning to see what we get into. I'm going to stick that one in the back back here. And then we'll take a handy dandy knife right here. And uh, we will yank the plastic off of this thing. Toss that out of the way. And then uh, pull these out and we'll see what we can get into. Alright, so let's try to dump everything out. And then we'll talk about what we get right here. Um, pretty decent packaging on these. Um, struggling a bit. All right, so let's toss that out of the way. So we got a 2015 Series One. We got a 2015 uh, Archives. These look like the little like Walmart or uh, dollar store packs. One's got four cards, the other's got five. We got a 91 Flare Ultra. Um, I think this is 89 or 88, probably 89, yeah. Uh, Donruss, another 89 Donruss, and yet another 89 Donruss, and another 89 Donruss, so that may not be awesome. Uh, another 91 Flare Ultra, uh, there's a 2016, uh, and then we've got an actual, like, hanger pack of 06, or rack pack rather so let's uh let's jump into these and see what we pull um not expecting a whole lot again i paid a total of 40 dollars for two of these so one set for 20 got free shipping so roughly 22 bucks these look like at one time sold for 10 and um then look like that last one was marked down to like seven dollars and fifty cents but anyhow they were just part of it so um Let's get into these right here. Um, yeah. So these are 89 Donners. Be cool to pull a uh, King Griffey Jr. out of these. Don't know that we'll get one of those. Um, Al Davis MVP. There's a Kurt Schilling rookie. It seems to be in great shape. Centering is not perfect. Still a cool card. And uh, Gerald Perry. All right, let's do another one. I um, remember in, I think it was eighth grade. It was in eighth grade in 1989. I remember a guy picking up a box of these for me, and I remember keeping these in my locker all day at school, and it was killing me. And I could not wait to get home and, and uh, rip this pack, rip that box open. Uh, Ricky Henderson. Love that guy as a kid, so I'm going to stick him up in the back back here. Um, not a whole lot going on other than that. Teddy Higuera. There's a Fernando Valenzuela and a Sean Dunstan. All right, got two more packs to go on the 89 Donruss. Again, Griffey Jr. I think Randy Johnson's got a rookie card in this year. Um, I do have the Warren Spawn puzzle put together already uh, from a kid from that box break as a kid. There is a Conseco 4040 Club. That is a pretty cool card. Harold Reynolds Diamond King, followed by an RJ Reynolds, which is pretty cool. Johnny Ray, Barry Lyons, Bobby Bo Diamond King. There's a old Cam Boyd checklist and a Steve Lyons. 
All right, so then the last pack of 89 Donruss. As we get into that, tossing the trash and whatnot aside, Kevin McReynolds, the Heat and Wally Joyner MVP. Let's see, let's see what we can get. Whoopsie. Doug DeCenzo. Walt Weiss. Part of that championship team for this year. Ryan Sandberg. Dig that card. So there's three pretty cool cards from, from the um, 89 Donner set. Uh, we'll stick these cards. I'll tell you what. Let's just pile them up up top like that. Because I'm pretty sure we'll get some more. <laughs> Alright. So let's, let's uh, jump into this 91 Fleer Ultra. And these you get a sticker. So our sticker is Texas Rangers. All right, Randy, ready? Let's see if we can't focus in there. Todd Burns. And I can remember when these were some very expensive cards, the Fleer Ultra cards. That was like the upgraded Fleer. Uh, these were two and three dollars a pack here in Middle Tennessee. Kenny Rogers. Um, and so I didn't come across many of these. I just didn't, as a kid, if I was going to pay up for something, I was paying up for Upper Deck. I wasn't going to pay up for Fleer Ultra. Um, and now there's still just so many of these floating around. Craig Biggio. Um, I don't know if that is the Biggio rookie card or not, but that's a really good card, man. Proud to have that one. All right, so one more pack of these. And um, then we'll get into some of this other stuff we got here. So, Indians. All right. Kevin Seitzer. He was a, a stand-up player uh, in my childhood. Ken Caminiti. I think he used to do Snickers commercials or something like that. There's a Sammy Sosa. You know, most of you may not like him, but that's in the White Sox uniform, so it's a little bent up, maybe. So I may have plans for that card. There's a Sandy Alomar Jr. I dug him when I was a kid. I got to see him at Greer Stadium. Uh, the Reds played the Indians, or it was either the Indians or the Padres, um, one year as an exhibition game, and he was at that game. So I got to see him play here in Nashville at Greer Stadium, um, which was pretty neat. And I also got to see Eric Davis in that game. And the fun fact about him is somebody said something to him. He actually came up in the stands and uh, tried to work with a security guard to get somebody thrown out of the game. And I remember kind of being scared as a, as a kid. I was like, what is this guy doing? And... Um, I don't remember if the person got thrown out or not, but he wound up going back out on the field and playing ball. But it was like a dramatic situation, <laughs> to say the least. So there was our 91 Fleer Ultra. Again, I bet in this next box break we'll get some more of those. Uh, so we got some different stuff here. Let's do the archives. So we're only going to get four cards out of this archives product. And forgive me if I'm not versed on these players right here. Um... Still trying to figure it all out. So there's a Madison Bumgarner. Max Scherzer. That's a pretty cool card, man. That's a pretty cool card. Glad to add that one to the collection. Trevor Rosenthal is a 83 throwback card. And um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but he's a White Sox card, so I'll probably have plans for it. <laughs> all right, so let's do... I tell you what, we'll go ahead and finish these out. We'll go from left to right, although I probably should do the older stuff. Look at that, I just butchered that. So this is, I think, five cards. All right, we've got a Glenn Perkins with the twins. Zach Grinke. Dodgers, Eric Ibar. There's an Andrew Haney, Future Stars. And a Trevor May rookie card, so that's pretty cool. Got some, got some rookie cards. My buddy Buttermilk opened some of these the other day, or his son Bishop did rather, and uh, they pulled a lot of rookie cards, a lot of rookie cards for some of these little packs like this. So this was the, what was this, 2016 Series One. 
So I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Anthony Rizzo. There is a Melky Cabrera. I know somebody that like that card. Jordan Walden and a Brett Gardner. All right, and then finally we've got this uh, rack pack, and and look who's on the back back there. I don't have many of his cards, so that'll be cool. Got a Jim Edmonds. Also got a Jose Cruz Jr. We'll figure out who that is in just a minute. And I think you get three vintage cards that are like buyback cards or something. Um, I don't know that you get anything of note uh, from this uh, on these buyback cards, but um, we will. Oh, and this one's wrapped. That's pretty cool. Uh, we will see what we can get. And um, there we go. We're getting into it. Try not to mess up these corners here. All right, so we'll toss this out of the way. Those are awesome knives. If you're in the neighborhood for a, or in the market for a, a nice pocket knife, my next door neighbor uh, gave me that. Uh, for Christmas one year. Alright, there's a cool Andrew Jones card. Scott Casimir. Ted Lilly. There is a Ricky Weeks and Prince Fielder. Second base, first base for the Brew Crew. Neat card. Ken Maka. I guess Nick Swisher. That's pretty cool. Jose Crede. There's a Jose Cruz Jr. I don't know how his career panned out, but I loved his dad when he was a kid. And them old Astros, Unis, San Peloza. There's a Miggy Cabrera. That's pretty cool. There's the Nationals card. And there is a Gustavo Chasen. Todd Helton, which we saw before. I think, no, we saw the Jim Edmonds. So Todd Helton's a pretty cool card. Now this one is wrapped. Alright, so let's bust this little dude open. I may have to I may have to get the knife out on this one as well. No, there we go. Alright, so we got a Miguel Olivo. And I'm looking at maybe an 86 tops in there. Um yep. Not gonna even try to pronounce your name. But there it is. Ramon Hernandez. Uh, looks like a Joe Madden gold card. So I got a manager gold card. I don't know that that's good at all. So here's some of the old cards. So we got a Daryl Porter. What is that? 82. Yeah, 82 tops. George Wright from 86 tops. And Louis Rivera from 89. And then we got a checklist. And then work hard, get cards. A little insert. All right, so the newer stuff, nothing too crazy um, in that couple of cool cards. So we'll get into to this next box right here and see if we pull. Hopefully we get a little variety out of this. Sorry for jiggling everything around. Be cool to pull some of that newer stuff. Um, Roger Clemens. So there's a 2007 and a 2008. And it looks like an 89 Bowman, maybe. Um, you know, I, I love the variety. I, I know a lot of people get frustrated by this type of product. Um, I dig the variety in it. Because, you know, why not? Uh, <laughs> as I toss this stuff to the side. So it looks like we got a 1990 Upper Deck. An 89 Bowman, which if I remember correctly, they're different sized, and I did not like that as a kid. There is a 90 upper deck, or 91 upper deck, we'll stick behind that. We got another 89 Donruss, a 90 Fleer. We got a 2008 opening day, we got another rack pack of 06. 2008 Series 1 tops, and a 2007 uh, so we really didn't get the mini packs like we did in the last one, which I think is pretty cool. So hopefully you can kind of still see these on camera. I'm going to start with the 89 Bowman. Uh, again, I did not like this set as a kid because they did not fit. And there's just some nasty old gum. 
they didn't fit in my in my stuff you know what I mean uh, top loaders and uh, they didn't fit in my binders so Bill uh, Wiegan I think um, who we got here? O to B McDowell. We got a super awesome checklist. Uh, Bob Kipper, Andy Hawkins, Greg Brock, Richie Ashburn. Insert card. We got a Don James. There's another Eric Davis. Um, who is that? Tim Laudner, Charlie. Excuse me, Charlie Liebrandt, Barry Larkin. Cool player from my childhood, and a Eric. I don't know if you say show or Eric Shaw. So, you know, we kind of knew what we were getting when we got into those. All right, let's rip this. These are actually 88s. I am missing one puzzle piece from Stan Musial, and that is not it. So, <laughs> um, we'll carve out a little bit of room here to set the uh, packs down. So, we got a Tim Raines, Scott Terry, Scott Sanderson, Al Newman. There's a Tom Glavin. That's his rookie card. We'll stick him up back there. Since it's kind of slim pickings. There's a Ruben Sierra MVP. <laughs> We're doing good on checklists, man. And I think we pulled five O to B McDowell's. Alright, so not a whole lot happening in the 88 Donruss. We'll stick that back here. Um, Let's go 90 Flair. Why not? 1990 Fleer. Got a little Red Sox action happening on the sticker. Alright, a lot of people think this set is kind of boring. Um, way mass produced. Wasn't a whole lot going on with it. They're really simple cards. Um, you can still pick these up. Super cheap. But still some cards in this set that I that I need to get. So we'll see we pull. Alright, so we got a Tom Candiago. Excuse me. Tom Candiotti. Mike Gallego, see how I mix their names up. Alright, who we got here? Mark Gubigza and Jeff Russell. Bob Welch. Jeff Hudson. Jeff Hamilton. Denny Martinez. There's a Maddox card. So, you know, he'd been around in the league for a few years there, but still. Cool to add to the to the old PC, Ron Gant and Glenn Davis. So again. Not a whole lot. Let's stack them on top of those. So I think I'm going to go like this right here. And we'll go 7, 0, 8, and 0, 8. We'll do the opening day. All right, so how about this? We'll just pull these like this. So let's get into some upper deck. So again, these full pack cards right here, man, as a kid, they were $2 a piece, um, which it's kind of crazy when you think about it now uh, compared to everybody else. But the, they're supposed to be better stock better pictures overall better quality and so they charge more for them um and so you were torn as a kid do i spend the money on the upper deck or do i you know at this time everything was mainstream so you could get tops donner's flare whatever you wanted at your local walmart but they also had upper deck and you just couldn't get as many and yet we all still bought them there's a benny santiago see here i don't like it when they're all over the place but such is such is life okay eddie Milt thompson ron darling uh, let's see looks like we got a tim Raines. cool picture see his name on his bat keto o'brien checklist for the mets it's got doc gooden on it Bobby Bo for the Indian or for Indians for the Pirates. Uh, Greg Harris, Mark Zubza. So not a whole lot. Not much happening. Alright, let's go with 91. Go with 91 and see what we get into. There's Eck. If nothing else, we got an Eck. Dennis Eckersley. Wally Backman. Scott. Frey, Scott Fry, Nelson Liriano, Gary Pettis, John Shelby, Carl Rose. There is an Andre Dawson card. Don't think I have that one. There is the Hawk. Uh-oh. Kyle Abbott prospect card. 
There is a crime dog holding one, two, three, four bats, maybe? Three bats. <laughs> Kurt Schilling. Who we got there? We got the Cardinals. With Pedro Guerrero on it. Got an Orioles hologram. Ron Robinson, Jim Gott, and an Alan Trammell. So there's a Hall of Famer. Don't know that I had that card, so that's not that's not terrible. Alright, now 93 Donners. Haven't opened many of these in my life. If I remember correctly, you gotta open Donners the opposite way. If you can open it at all. <laughs> Alright. Let's toss the trash out of the way. Jose Offerman. Braulio Castillo, Sean Barry rated rookie, Russ Springer, Henry Rodriguez, Mike Perez, Thomas Howard, Kurt Stilwell, Mike Henneman, Sterling Hitchcock, Frank Viola still pitching there, Willie Banks, Bobby Thigpen with the White Sox, and Rich Rowland. Oh, I'm going to stick him on my White Sox pile. Alright, so we're getting a little bit of a pile back here. Still haven't added, you know, we our first few packs or where we added our our good stuff. So we'll get the handy dandy old knife back out and uh, see if we can get into this pack right here. Um, see if we can't get these out without damaging them. I believe it was the middle pack that was still individually wrapped. And then this bottom pack here, we'll get these out and kind of add them to the first pile. And uh, then we'll toss some of this trash out of the way. And we'll see what we get here. We got a Doug Davis, John Willingham, Mark Pryor with the Cubbies, Cleveland Rocks, Gary Sizemore, and Aaron Boone. There's a Craig Council, Roy Oswalt, Ryan Langerhans, Jake Westbrook. Grady Sizemore, Pl Placido Polanco. There is the Braves. Eddie Guardo, Andy Cisco, and a Buddy Bell manager. I remember when he was a player. So, all right, let's see what we get in this. Got a Neil Brown on the front. All right, and again, these will have some buyback cards or whatever in them. Emil Brown, Dustin Herman, so Alfonso Soriano with the Nationals. There's a Man Ram, Hit Parade. That's a pretty cool card. Uh, mini Trio, buyback card. Got a lot of him. There's another 82, Bob Badcock. Another 82, Steve Mura. Of course, a checklist and a get good grade. So, nothing of note necessarily in that so we'll just throw that on the pile back there so those seven tops baseball it says updates and highlights so we'll see what comes of this pack all right so there on um, right off the top is an a rod uh joining the 500 hit club so black border cards now i got a thing for black border cards so that's a pretty neat Pretty neat card. I'm glad to have that one. Dimitri Young. Uh, Mark Beer. Uh, uh, Mark Burl. Burley. I don't know. I'm probably butchering that name. Um, let's see. Jonathan Papelbon. Andy LaRoche. Rookie card. All right, so let me know. Let me know if you see something. I Something's got to kind of stand out to me. I probably should just not rip. <laughs> I should probably just not rip any of this stuff because I really don't know who's who. All right, so this is 08 opening day, and there's a large stick of gum. Um... I got to tell you, I've never seen these cars before, and personally, I think they look hideous. So, there is, not sure who that is, 
Lance Broadway rookie card, White Sox. There's an A-Rod. And a David Ortiz. So that's a couple pretty cool cards back to back. Josh Hamilton. Kurt Schilling. And then that right there. Alright, so we're down to our last pack. And still my favorite cards are already standing up. I guess I uh, can't get away from it. So here we have 2008. I have no idea who is even a uh, prospect to pull out of 2008. Dustin Pedroia. Uh, CC Sabathia, Cy Young Award winner, Carlos Sombrano, Anthony Reyes, Steve Pierce, Mickey Mantle Homer card. Looks like an insert. Yep. This thing about getting good grades. Adam Lind, Blue Jays, Jeremy Hamada, and Kevin Euclid. Which is a cool card, but you can see it's kind of bowed. So, anyhow. Not a whole lot going on in this. Um, I'm glad I didn't pay full price for them. But I did, just going back, I am glad I got the Ricky Henderson. Glad I got the Canseco 40-40 Club. The Ryan Sandberg. Pulled a nice Sammy Sosa. And the Tom Glavin rookie card. If, uh, if you saw a card that I went over and didn't give it enough love, enough respect, please let me know. Um... Like some of these uh, insert cards or some of these newer stuff, uh, the Scherzer in particular, I like that one. Um, anyhow, I think we did pretty good. No more than we paid for it, I think we did pretty good. So we'll have some more of these pack rips from that large 50-pack uh, Major League Baseball set thing that we ordered from Walmart.com. Anyhow, uh, let me know again if I missed something. Uh, I hope everyone has a great Sunday. Uh, sorry this video is so long, um, but uh, it was fun uh, getting into this. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we will catch you on the next video.